it, uh, if it, you know, when we talked with uh, Coach Camp, I mean, ball pressure was, you know, was uh, something that came up with uh, Georgia Tech a lot. How did you all prepare for that? And uh, what sort of in, you know, because, uh, you know, that's a team that uh, capitalizes a lot on steals. What impact did it seem to have on you guys? Uh, I, I don't understand the question. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't understand the question. No, no, no. You know, um, you know, I guess, how did you all pre uh, prepare for Georgia Tech's ball pressure? You know, they're a team that, you know. That oh, okay. Yeah. Um, what impact did it seem to have on y'all? Um, we, we, uh, coach is kind of, he, coach is just reiterating how we had to be really strong with the ball and how we had to step to our passes, how we had to, um, you know, fight for our position to get open because they were a very physical team. Um, you saw that their hands were all over, all over the ball. The hands were all over us, you know, sometimes. And, you know, we just had to, you know, we were working on B cuts and practice working on getting open, but, um, you know, I think, you know, just, just couldn't, you know, do what we needed to do. Couldn't do what we needed to do. Ithiel, how tough is it to fight through contact and how can, what do you, what can you do better so you can be better prepared or, or be better able to fight through that? Um, it's tough fighting through contact. Um, it's tough fighting through contact, getting the ball and then, you know, seeing, looking what you have, because by the time you fight through the contact, you know, you're looking at the defense and the, you know, I might've already missed the play. Cause I know I do that sometimes. I miss some cuts. I miss who was, who's in the post. Um, and to just, you know, just to kind of work on it, just to, you know, work on it every day in practice, um, footwork, kind of, you know, hand work, you know, working on swim moves or working on getting into them, putting your elbow into them and, you know, spinning into them and getting the ball and, you know, just little things, just working on that. If you, did you feel a little bit of pressure or maybe a little more responsibility when Xavier got in foul trouble and missed most of the second half? Yeah, I, I felt a lot of, uh, I didn't feel a lot of pressure, but I felt a lot of responsibility to, you know, keep my help keep my team in the game, and I didn't do it alone. I didn't do it alone. Uh, obviously, Ardis came in, stepped up. Justin came and stepped up. Femi came in, stepped up, and ran the one for us. And Kareem was obviously battling down low. So, you know, it wasn't just me. It was it was everybody on the team that stepped up and kept them in the game. If you outside of just the you know the basketball and you know knowledge and trying to keep keep your game together. Georgia Tech was being very physical with you guys all game. And, and, and the second half, you only – like their fifth foul only came with a few seconds left. And, and you got called for a technical, it seemed, for just for saying and one. What are you guys talking to each other, try to keep your heads in those moments? Because that seems like that's that's difficult when you're on the road and you're, this is a, one of the few places that's allowed to have fans while you're going through all this. Yeah, I mean, just, just telling each other to stay together and, you know, to just stay focused on the purpose and stay focused on the goal, you know. I believe X got into it with um, Usher in the first half. And, you know, our coach JC told us that you're more important to us than he is to them. And so, you know, just having our coaching staff behind us and having our having our leaders like Audis and Justin, you know, kind of keeping us together and saying, you know, listen, like we got just share that with us. You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 use that externally. Share that with us. You know, we need that. If you like, uh, like Georgia Tech's one of the teams that probably talks more, uh, you know, uh, you know, I guess co uh, comparatively in that conference, how I, how much of a difference is there to prepare for that versus actually being out there and having to kind of withstand it? Um, it's more. We got. I mean, for the, for the talking side, you know, it's more psychological than physical. Obviously, you got the physical part of the game you have to worry about, but then at the same time, you have to realize that you know this is what they do. And if you come out here and you let them get in your head, you know, obviously they've won the game before they we've even started making points and playing defense, you know. So and with standing, it's once you get out there, you know, you realize that okay, that, that stuff kind of fuels me. I, I like it when they, you know, when they start talking, that gets me in. You know what I'm saying? So it's not hard to withstand it. Uh big struggles at the end of the first half, uh, four points in the last nine minutes. And he came out really on fire throughout the second half. What kind of, was there anything specific that kind of turned the key there and kind of unlocked your offense in the second half? Um, just trusting the work. You know, first half I was, I was just, I, I don't know why I was just out of it for some reason. But then I came in, I switched my shoes. I don't know if that has something to do with it. And I just told myself that, look, come on, you gotta, you gotta step up your game. You know, you wanted this, you wanted the leaders on this team. You gotta step it up. You gotta come out here. And it just kind of flipped. Plus, when Coach banged on the, uh, he banged on one of the lockers, you know, kind of get telling us to get together, and that kind of just snapped me out of my funk I was in. So, 
I think we had it's, talked with you earlier, um, you know, earlier during this season. I think it was after the uh, after the Miami game, you know, and you had uh, talked a lot about, you know, early in the season putting too much pressure on yourself, being a bit of a perfectionist. How much has that gone away over the past two months, and how much do you feel like that's impacted or shaped your game? Um, I feel like it's gone away a lot. Obviously, I've just kind of took a step back from myself and just said, let's. You played this game all your life. Just go out there and do what you do. You don't have to, if you make a mistake, so what? Get back on, get back on defense and get it back. Get a rebound, get a steal. And, you know, I, I credit Justin Champagny because he was really helped me a lot with the psychological standpoint, you know, just telling me to, you know, keep going. Like, you still that dude, you know, we need you to make big plays for us. And um, I, I think, I believe it's Sean right now. I'm going to stay down. We got, we still got a few more, a lot more games left, but I believe I'm stepping into the role I'm supposed to play. Ithiel, was it saying and one that got you the technical? Yeah, I, I, it wasn't even like a, a like an aggressive and one. You know, it was just like a you know and one. Like, don't you see? Like the dude's draped all over and one. Like you know, and I guess I don't, I don't know what's wrong with that dude. Ithiel, you guys have faced that a lot this season. Where you guys, I think it was might have been the last game at home where you guys, you know, someone else said and one, and the ref stopped the game. Uh, uh, Again, you guys seem to like to go up against those those a lot where you're playing physical basketball. You know, Jeff talked about last week how people are getting much more physical with Justin, and he's not even getting calls for that anymore. That that's got to be something tough to process and stay focused on. You know, you know your your play. How do you keep the ball moving? How do you stop the ball on defense? Can you talk to just about those kind of challenges week in and week out? Um, it's tough. I mean, <clears throat> because when you fight all week in practice, you know, you prepare in the film room and you know, to kind of just have an external factor affect the game in a, in a negative way, you know, it really hurts. It really hurts, but we got to just stay grounded. We got to stay focused and believe in what we do. Obviously, you know, the refs aren't going to be on our side, you know, given that we just pit, you know, I don't know why, but I mean, we're going to stay, we're going to continue to keep fighting. Like we, we, we're not done yet. We don't care what's, what's, what other factors out there. We're going to continue to believe in what we do and we're going to hit the practice for tomorrow prepared.